Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in college basketball in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, the free $60 account, DocSports.com. Click on the link below the video to get started. All right, listen, real quick for us, quick video today, but I wanted to make note of what's going on with us. We're heading to the studio Tuesday afternoon, and we'll fire out some videos for this weekend's uh, NFL playoff action. We're going to talk about what teams need to do to win their games, and of course, the betting report, all that good stuff here midweek. And then also, we're going to talk a little bit about the National Championship in college football, which takes place in six days on Monday night. So be sure to check out and look out for those. It'll be myself and Tony George, as we'll be talking about all the playoff games and, of course, the national championship game in college football. Uh, those will likely be up and out there on our YouTube channels on or by Wednesday afternoon at the very latest, I would expect. So anyway, real quick note, here's what's going on for us on Tuesday's card. I've got a multiple game card in college basketball. Uh, I did lose my one play last night. We had Texas Arlington and they just didn't have enough gas. Uh, they were on an 8-1 spread run off a road trip of three games or more. And their opponent, by the way, uh, was playing their third road game since Thursday, but it sure didn't look like Arlington had the better, uh, I guess you could say, energy of the two as they did not play well in the second half of that game and lost. So still on an 8-2 and two run with the last 10. We're 16-6-1. and one. College basketball sides going back more than a couple of weeks now and going all the way back to November 27th. We're hitting 59% against the spread. So multiple college basketball card. The plays will be available Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 30 a.m. Pacific. And as far as NBA and NHL, check over on my Handicappers homepage at DocSports.com at 1 p.m. Pacific, excuse me, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday afternoon. All right, let's get right back in the win column here. We won on Sunday right here. We lost yesterday. Real close loss. Uh, the Utah Jazz went down to defeat, only winning by two. They were basically about a two and a half to three point favorite when we cut the video. They got all the way up to like four and a half in some shops. I saw a couple that were as high as five on game day. They ended up winning the game, but only by two. Let's get right back in the win column. We're looking at college basketball, Big East style uh, for Tuesday in the yeah, matchup between Providence and Marquette. And I really wanted to dive into this game because we've seen significant line move, and yet it's only uh, not even midnight Eastern time. It's about 9 p.m. Pacific time on uh, Monday night heading into Tuesday. We've already seen this game drop as much as two and a half points. Uh, they're, right now, Marquette land about six in most shops, but there are five and a half out there, and they opened as high as eight. I saw one shop go to eight and a half for a real short time, then get bought back down, and we think the number's too low now. That's the bottom line for us, and when you look at what Marquette has on the floor, uh, listen, they might not be 100% healthy right now, but I like the way this team reacted off the loss to Creighton. They came out, and they handed Villanova an 11-point loss, 71-60. We had Marquette in that game over the weekend as one of our personal the plays over at DocSports.com. Uh, listen, we saw a return uh, to the kind of offense and scoring that Marcus Howard is used to against Villanova after Creighton put a big man on him, changed things up a bit defensively. But if you're going to put a big man on Marcus Howard, well, you better have a big man with real quick feet. And uh, I don't see Providence being able to do to Marcus Howard what the Creighton Blue Jays did defensively a couple of games ago. And you've got others contributing now. In fact, uh, they got a junior guard, by the way, talking about Marquette by the name of Kobe McEwen, who was scoreless against Creighton and then scores 22 points against Villanova and he talked about it after the game about Marcus Howard not just going out and getting his nation leading 25 26 points per game but also creating shots for others creating open looks for others and when teams start to double team Marcus Howard that's what happens I like Ed Cooley the coach of Providence I like that program what he's done with it they were expecting big things before the season began they got off to a real rough start they're now coming in off of wins over Georgetown and DePaul that Georgetown win I thought was a great spot it was predictable uh, the DePaul Paul game went right down to the closing seconds. Providence in a tough one, got the win, 66-65. But I like Marquette here to stay in the win column after beating Nova on Saturday. I don't think there'll be a letdown. I think Coach Wojo uh, got his players' attention during that Creighton fiasco a couple of games ago. So I do like Marquette. And with that number coming down from eight down to five and a half, six, I think it's worth a shot. So our opinion, our pre free pick for Tuesday's college basketball is Marquette minus the points 
over Providence. All right, hey, don't forget about today's card, Tuesday's card over at DocSports.com. Multiple games in college basketball available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, NBA and NHL regular time of 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific with those release times. And as we mentioned now, 59% run going all the way back to November 27th with the college baskets. Don't miss out on that or the NHL and the NBA. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to uh, subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next free pick.